Hi, it's John Mitchell, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So I want to talk this week, first of all, about our airport. Uh, there's been a lot going on at our airport of late, as I'm sure you've heard. Um, recently, we, it was announced that uh, we had obtained provisional status to become a full-fledged commercial airport. It took a lot of work. Uh, on the part of uh, Scott Service, our airport director and the airport commission and a lot of other people uh, to get us to that point. Um, it, and a fair amount of taxpayer dollars spent, not a ton, but, but a, a fair amount. Um, we've modernized a number of the systems over there. Uh, we've uh, recently, we had the, the main runway rebuilt. That was about two years ago. And this week it was announced that uh, we we're getting $6.6 .6 million dollars uh, and uh, a FAA grant uh, to pay for the uh, upgrading, the recon total reconstruction of the secondary runway. So why does this matter? It means that, this, uh, that our airport is becoming a modern airport. And it's not to say it's gonna become a full-fledged big city airport with direct international flights, but it is um, a statement about where we want to take it, and that is to, to become a real airport that can serve uh, the needs of not just New Bedford, not just Greater New Bedford, but really uh, everybody down the Cape and up north for at least up to Brockton and over to the Rhode Island line. There's a, there's a lot of folks who live there, and we think our airport can uh, help uh, us in the long run connect New Bedford to the rest of the country. Uh, we want to see flights, direct flights from here uh, on a fairly regular basis to places like New York and Washington and, uh, and other parts of America. That's really important. Uh, as we think about how we compete in the long run uh, for jobs and for investment, uh, we need to have a functioning airport. I feel very strongly that way, and I know a lot of folks do. Uh, and it requires investment, it requires some good planning, and that's, what happened. Uh, that's what's happening. We, and we have, uh, we've had the assistance on, on this most recent grant with, of our federal delegation. We certainly thank them for their uh, support. Uh, but we also know that uh, in the long run, it's going to take um, everybody pulling together to make that asset work. It has been an underutilized asset for a long time. And we're, we're going about the business of making the most of it. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about this week was uh, a really great event uh, that's coming back to New Bedford, and that's the Azorian uh, whaleboat races. The Azorian Maritime Heritage um, uh, Association is heading that up. They do a fabulous job keeping up the tradition of whale, ro uh, whale boat races. Uh, that has a tradition here in New Bedford, of course, but also in the Azores. And uh, it's a fun event. Uh, they're going to be doing racing in Clark's Cove over the course of the weekend. Uh, go check it out. We're going to have some nice days this weekend. Uh, take, take a look at uh, a really unique event. And you'll be able to see some of it from the Cove Walk. So. That may be a pretty good vantage uh, point to take it in, but uh, it's just a neat part of our history. Uh, it touches a lot of parts of uh, the city's identity, and it's a lot of fun. Um, you'll be able to see it from the beaches as well, of course. So um, it's um, and, and they're all in good shape, which is uh, which is another th good thing too. So anyway, that's that's all I have for you this week. Hope to see you uh, out at the whale boat races, and um, of course, uh, kickoff of the 2017. Uh, NFL season with the Patriots. Uh, that's big. So, uh, if you're out there, don't call me on Sun on Thursday night. I'll be uh, I'll be watching the game, and I'm sure a lot of you uh, will be too. But until next week, uh, this has been the Mayor's Weekly Update. New Bedford Cable Network. Public, educational, and government access. Channel 95 is public access. Channel 9 is educational access. Channel 18 is government access. New Bedford Cable Network. We're more than you know us for.